Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are already rejoicing. You are already glad in it. We're going into day number three. That's right, day number three of us praying about the heart matters. We know that the heart matters to God, for he tells us to love him with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul. And we know that the matters of the heart have an impact on everything we do. Like yesterday, we learned that if we regard iniquity in our heart, the Lord will not hear us according to Psalm 66 and verse 18. And so we want to be prayer for all month long about the heart matters and matters of the heart. And as we read the word of God, we're going to learn the different conditions of our hearts and how we can keep our hearts clean so that we can stay connected to the Lord Jesus Christ and that he will hear us and answer us when we pray. And so today is day number three, day number three about the heart matters. And we're going to be praying from Matthew chapter number 15 and verse eight, Matthew chapter 15 and verse eight. Here's what Jesus says. These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. My Lord, these people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. What a word that convicts us today. And so as we are uh, listening to the word of God here from Jesus, we want to pray that we would, in fact, draw near to the Lord God today. And we want to pray that as we draw near to him, we would honor him. We would lift him up. We would give him the proper position in our life. But we also want to pray that we wouldn't just give the Lord lip service. We wouldn't just give him empty, vain words from our mouth. But in fact, that our hearts would be near to the Lord God today. For he desires not what we say out of our mouth to be vain or empty, but he wants it to come from the heart. For out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So let us pray today. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we honor you today. Lord, we thank you for your word today that helps us to understand the heart matters. Lord, it matters to you. It is serious business to you. And so, Lord God, before we go any further in this time of prayer, Lord, we recognize the conviction of the Holy Spirit through the word of God in Matthew chapter 15 and verse 8. For you told us that we draw near to you with our mouths and we honor you with our lips. But Lord, our hearts are far from you. And so, Lord God, we, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask you to forgive us, Lord, when our hearts have been distant from you. That when our words and our lip service sounded like we were close, you knew better. You knew the truth, Lord God. Our hearts were far from you. Our hearts are far from you. And so, Lord God, we thank you today for the, the convicting ministry of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the truth of your word. And we receive that conviction that we might be con con convinced to confess our sins before you, that we might receive cleansing from you. So, Lord God, today, we truly want to draw near to you. Lord, we truly want to be in your presence. You told us to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and to enter into your courts with praise and to bless your holy name. Lord, we want to walk closely with you today. We want to walk in lockstep with you today. We want to be in fellowship with you. We want to be close to you, God. We, we want to enjoy our relationship with you, and we want it to be real and rich and refreshing today. So, Lord God, we've come to this time of prayer to seek your face, Lord, to be in your presence. And we come, Lord God, to honor you, to recognize who you are, that you are the Lord, our God, and that there is no other God before you. Lord, we come exalting you and we come lifting you up for you are worthy of our praise. Lord, we come acknowledging that you are the King of kings and that you are the Lord of lords. There's no other God beside you. There's no other God before you. There's no other God above you. You are high and lifted up, O God, and your train fills the temple. 
The earth is your footstool, O God. And we thank you and acknowledge you as the God of all gods. There is no other God beside you. There is no other God like you, God. And so we bask in your presence and we bask in your glory and we honor your name. We lift it up and magnify the name of Jesus this day, this moment, during this time of prayer. We recommit ourselves to who you are. And then, Lord God, we we ask that, that we would draw near to you with contrite hearts, that we would draw near to you with clear, clean hearts. We pray, Lord God, today that as we draw near to you, Lord, you would draw near to us. Lord, don't let anything separate us from your love, from your fellowship, from relating to you. Lord, we have people in our lives that are close to us, but God, we want to be close to you. We have people in our lives, Lord, who want to get close to us. But Lord God, we want to get close to you. And as we get close to you, Lord, draw our loved ones closer to you. And as we each come closer to you, Lord, let us then draw close to one another. But Lord, it all starts with you. It all starts with fellowship with you, relationship with you. And that all starts with the matters of our heart. For we recognize, God, that our heart matters. So, Lord, don't let our hearts remain distant from you today. Let us draw near to you, that you might draw near to us. And we give you the praise and the glory and the honor, for you richly deserve it. We believe victory in your lives and your people today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Listen, I want you to know that God loves you. He wants nothing more to have fellowship with you today. He wants you to draw close to him, not just with lip service, but he wants you to draw close to him in your heart. And so we read today uh, from Matthew chapter 15 and verse 8. These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Be victorious today. We'll be back tomorrow. God bless.